guys, we have, you know, some of the most ridiculous people online, okay? You know, but these people are saying that Nintendo should retire all of the most popular IPs, okay? All of the IPs like Mario and Zelda, you know, that sells tens of millions of copies, Kirby, that sells millions of copies every time a new game comes out, Donkey Kong, where it's the last game sold around five to six million copies, okay? It was called like Tropical Freeze or something, okay? But the town needs to retire these games and focus on making serious and mature games. I feel like they're holding the medium back at this point. Oh, yes. Nintendo needs to make Call of Duty games, okay? Nintendo needs to make, you know, all of these, you know... And yes, there's a lot of very great, serious, and mature games out there. But Nintendo does have serious and mature IPs. They can just continue making the games of those, like Fire Emblem, you know, Xenoblade, uh, you know, Metroid. Those are serious and, you know, IPs that Nintendo has. Yes, they're not M-rated, like this guy probably hopes they're gonna they should be according to them and the him and their and their, in his eyes that those three IPs should be M rated IPs because it doesn't really matter the games are M rated or T rated. The games can still be very much so the T rated games. Okay. You know, still have very much so themes without making the game M rated. Dead. But basically the M rating is like blood and gore, you know, massive blood and gore, you know, swearing, you know, alcohol and drug use, okay, you know, stuff that's like a GTA and stuff, or, you know, war crimes like in Call of Duty, or swearing like in Call of Duty, okay, like Halo, they put the games as T-rated after a while because they realized, hey, you know, maybe Halo is not M-rated, okay, you know, Remember the day when Smash Bros. was rated T14, which I don't know why it was. It was probably the dumbest rating in history, but yeah, that is about this video here. Goodbye.